All right, folks, welcome back. This is Bellatro every day until we get a win. You know, just anyone can lose on the base difficulty setting. It takes a true pro gamer to lose on the higher difficulty settings. And so uh, you folks have been asking, you know, when are we going to start addressing, talking about these higher difficulties, these higher stakes. And so that's what we're going to start today. We're going to start raising the stakes even before we try to get a win with some of these more interesting decks here. Um, for the purposes of unlocking all of the decks, we will be doing, uh, you know, this week we'll do the higher stakes. And, you know, maybe by the end of the week, as long as we don't suck, we should be able to reach gold stake by then. Uh, today we're going to start by talking about the red stake. This says your small blind is going to give you no reward money. Um, and, you know, maybe one way to think about this is, you know, when you play the small blind, you get your 300 points or whatever in the first round, you get $3 reward money. In addition to you get money for having leftover hands, or if you're playing on the yellow deck, you might get some interest money. And so this no reward money that is only affecting the $3 base, you still get all of the money from having the extra hands and you know, whatever money from interest, if you have, uh, like I said, the yellow deck start, and then, okay, this has no impact on the big blind or the boss blind. Uh, maybe, you know, we get to round four, that's an anti two. And then the small blind, again, you're getting three less dollars. You're not getting that reward money. And so, you know, kind of what we demonstrated in the past is once you get out of anti two, and once you kind of uh, get the engine going, you'll have uh, your interest built up, you'll have a mix of scoring jokers and value generating jokers, not necessarily money generating, but value generating. Uh, you'll have enough scoring where you can kind of win each round in just one scoring hand and then sort of save all of those extra hands and get extra money from those hands. And so with this, you know, taking the reward money away from your small blinds, this is just minus three dollars each ante or on average this is minus one dollar per round so once we get past ante two this doesn't do anything anymore uh i mean it does technically but you know morally speaking it's not going to affect us that much uh the main thing that we're focused on is in ante one this says start the game with three less dollars now three dollars might not seem like you know that much difference uh, though, you know, when you go into the first shop, basically what that means is instead of being able to buy two jokers, instead of being able to buy one joker and one booster pack, instead of being able to buy maybe the voucher, you know, if you get the full $10 for the first round, now you're limited to one joker at most. Um, and for some folks that can be really destabilizing. So we know in this game, you know, it's kind of snowball-y, um, if you have your scoring that you need, then you're able to win in fewer hands, you're able to earn more money from using fewer hands. Um, if you, let's say you don't buy any jokers in the first shop, or maybe in the first two shops, we've kind of demonstrated this ability. Um, you can win the first three, maybe even four rounds without having any scoring jokers at all. Um, and you know, maybe have only value generating jokers and maybe have no jokers. And so if you're not buying anything because you don't need to be buying anything, you can be saving your money and then earning interest instead. And so this says, okay, if we start with three less dollars, then it takes us a little bit longer to build up our interest. It takes us, uh, you know, a little bit longer to, you know, get online or, or whatever it is. And so that can be slightly destabilizing uh, if you're not used to it. And so for the purposes of practice, if you just want to get used to this, uh, no small blind re reward money, you know, I would say continue practicing on either the blue deck or the red deck um, and sort of get that experience of going into the first shop, not expecting to buy anything, not being able to afford anything. Um, if you're still playing on yellow deck and you do red stake on yellow deck, this extra money here and the extra interest from this, this is really going to overshadow uh, whatever 
you know, drawback you have from the red stick here. So you're not really getting the practice is what I'm saying. Um, same with uh, these other kind of decks that give you sort of a big boost at the start. You know, here Crystal Ball giving you, uh, or sorry, the Magic deck giving you the Fools to start, Ghost deck giving you the Hex to start. Um, you know, if you're just having a bad time and you want to play for fun, then you can do that. But if you want to get the practice with uh, interacting with this red stake, I suggest uh, sort of the blue deck, red deck, the starter decks to, you know, get that practice in. Now, uh, for us today, um, instead of jumping right into the red stake, I think what I want to do instead is I'm going to go ahead and go to green stake. Like I said, for red stake here, it's not going to be that much different. We just start with three less dollars. Um, this matters much more when we have the faster anti-scaling. So, you know, all of the score thresholds are bigger, faster, which means, you know, if I'm not able to afford as many jokers as early, this can potentially be destabilizing here. So, you know, let's, let's jump into the run and let's just look at what are the numbers. Let's talk about, you know, this faster anti-scaling, faster uh, score thresholds or whatever it is. What does it mean? You know, because maybe it means something different from what you think it means. Um, in anti-1, uh, 300, 450, 600, anti-1 is the same uh, across all difficulty settings. Even if you go all the way up to the gold stake, anti-1 is still the same. And, you know, that means, okay, as far as what kind of scoring technology we need, we can win anti-1 with no jokers, even on the highest difficulty setting. Um, in anti-2, the difference here, instead of 800, it's now 1,000. So then the boss, instead of 1,600, it's 2,000. And still, you know, before we could get 2,000 if we had the right kind of joker to start. You know, maybe you start with one of these, I call them the sinful jokers, like the greedy joker, giving you plus four for each diamonds card, or the even Steven joker, plus four for each even card. Uh, you know, with those jokers, you can easily make the 2,000 with just one scoring joker. So this is, you have six rounds before you need to be finding just one scoring joker. So here, the difference between the 1600, the 2000, that's not gonna be that big a difference. Also here uh, in anti-3, we jump up to, instead of 2800, it's 3200. So, you know, uh, you know, maybe one seventh, right? One seventh of 2800 is an extra 400 here. Um, and then, so the boss is, instead of 5600, it's 6400, um, which is maybe, you know, it's still less than a thousand extra. Which means, okay, again, anti-3 is going to be very similar to what we were already experiencing before. Um, the main difference is we also have the, uh, you know, the red stake taking away those small blind rewards. And so maybe we have less money, maybe we have less scoring technology here. Um, it's not until anti-4 that we really start to feel the higher scaling. So the higher scaling is gonna start here and then it's gonna end, uh, you know, when we get to anti-8. So, you know, let's talk about anti-8 first. In anti-8, um, the target used to be 50,000 and then the boss is doubled to 100,000. Now this is going to be 90,000, which is 80% uh, more, you know, it's almost twice as much. And then the final boss is going to be 180,000. So again, you know, 80% more than the 100,000 that we needed before. So, you know, we're gonna need more scoring technology. Uh, you know, before we could probably survive without any multiplicative bonuses, without any X molt, we could get just plus molt, would have been fine. Um, now, probably you're looking for at least one more X molt than you were before. You're looking for times two more than you ha were scoring before. All right, and then if we scale it back to, if we go back to anti-4, in anti-4, it used to be 6,000. Now 9,000 is 50% more. Uh, is a bigger jump than, you know, here from 2,800 to 3,200. And then the boss in anti-4 is 
times two, so the boss is 18,000 uh, from, it used to be 12,000, now it's 18,000 in anti four. And so, you know, what I tell people is that, you know, a common misconception is you're winning until you lose. And I think that's not true. I think it's not that you're winning until you lose. You can be, you know, start on a losing path much earlier. And so like, if you actually die in anti five, it's because there was something that happened or failed to happen in anti three or four that sort of destabilized you and then sort of set you on a losing path. And so you were already losing the whole time. It just wasn't until anti five that you actually got the kill screen. And so this could be a big part of it. You know, as you're starting to branch out and reach up into these higher antis, here what this is saying is in order to get the higher scoring threshold in anti four, now where before I could get away with four scoring jokers and then one value joker, now I need five scoring jokers or I need an X mult joker. I need to really have all of my jokers together. And if I don't, then I'm playing extra hands because my scoring is so low. I need to play two hands per round. I need to play three hands per round. And then I'm losing money, uh, not just from playing extra hands, but I'm also losing money from, I'm desperately re-rolling for jokers. I'm not saving my money for interest. And so, you know, there's a lot going wrong earlier on in the run. You're failing to scale appropriately into the final rounds. Um, so I think about, you know, from 9,000 to 18,000, that's a times two jump. Uh, from 18,000 to 32,000, that's a, you know, like a 50% jump here, another 50% jump, another, uh, I don't know, you know, let's say they're all like 50% jumps or something like that. So, you know, the game is telling you, okay, as each ante goes by every three rounds, you need to be scoring 50% more than you were previously. And if your growth rate is lower than that 50% growth rate, that is what's causing you to lose. That's what's causing you to get outpaced. Um, so we want to be thinking about maybe making some different joker decisions than we would have been previously to account for this faster scaling here. All right, uh, also, uh, I forgot to mention this earlier, uh, with the red stake taking away the small blind reward, you know, you don't get the $3 here, this question of should I be skipping, should I be taking these tags, or should I be playing each round? Um, on the white stake, we said almost all the time it's best to just play and not skip. You know, there aren't really that many tags that are worth it, and so you never get punished for choosing to always play. Um, once we get to the higher stakes, now that value proposition is changed, right? So if you're getting less reward money, then this tag could be more worth it, right? You're not missing out on as much. However, if we combine that red stake with also the green stake, you know, the higher anti-scaling, and then, you know, later on purple stake also makes the anti-scaling even faster. Now each skip, also introduces the scores get bigger faster. And so there's uh, you know some concern about if I take these skips, is that going to cause the scaling to grow out of control for me? If on average I need to be going up about 50%, uh, you know between 50% and 100%, that's what needs to be my growth rate per ante. You know, if I'm skipping too many rounds, then are these skips giving me that level of growth? And so here uh, for this first skip, this foil tag, I get a guaranteed foil joker. Is that going to give me, you know, like a three or four times growth rate? Maybe not, we'll see, we'll think about it. All right, going into the first round here, we're gonna do sort of the standard stuff because, you know, everything is the same for anti one. So we'll play the straight, we'll get the win in one. And if we don't, we'll restart the video, we'll do the introduction all over again. Um, and then that way we'll get one where we win in one. We'll just keep re-rolling the introduction. 
All right, uh, in the shop here I've got, this is going to be a common situation where Dusk is technically a scoring joker, though it does not very much on its own. You know, right now on its own, if it's retriggering, it's just giving me more chips. Uh, it's not giving me more molt. Um, and the chips that it's giving me is not really that much, not that big either. Um, also, it's five bucks, so it's not, you know, one of the cheaper jokers either necessarily. Um, I do have the option for the delayed gratification. This is huge, right? Especially on the red deck, we have the extra discards that could be worth a lot of extra money. And so if you were playing this out, if you, you know, what I would suggest here is, yeah, take the delayed gratification. That's going to be the optimal pick. Uh, it's going to be an especially powerful pick and you're going to have a great time. Uh, however, for uh, our demonstration purposes, let's say, you know, sort of the overpowered thing. Let's say this didn't show up. Let's say these were blanks here. Let's say I didn't get any scoring jokers. Uh, how am I going to cope? How am I going to su survive? Do I need to buy this Arcana pack? Uh, I don't. We know that the second round we can win with just two hands. So let's give that a try. Uh, if I've got the three jacks here and I want to make a full house, I don't necessarily have to, but if I wanted to, then instead of discarding five, the best way to get a pair is to hold one card. And so we'll do that. We'll hold the queen. All right, uh, we didn't get there on the queen, so let's discard again. And we didn't get the full house, but we did get four of a kind. So we'll play four of a kind, and uh, I think that does it. I think that wins. Um, I think this is 600 points even. Uh, if it's not, we'll throw in an extra two so that we can discard it. I think in round two, uh, most four of a kinds win, right? Let's see here. Seven times 60 is 420. So not the lowest four of a kind, but most four of a kind will win. All right, now we've got, uh, like I said, this uh, ramen joker. This ramen joker is X molt. That's huge, right? We wanna have, before I said, you know, we want kind of between zero and two of these X molt things. You know, now that we're on the green stake and we've got the faster anti scaling and we need to get into the end game, uh, you know, we're going to want to have something like this eventually. Right now, it's not doing too much for me. You know, if I had one of the sinful jokers that gave me, you know, plus molt for each whatever suit it is, then this four becomes plus 20. And then 24, that's six times instead of uh, this two times for the ramen. So maybe the ramen is not super powerful right now, but it could be, you know, within a couple rounds once I find some other molt joker. Um, let's take a look at the boss here. The boss is all clubs are debuffed. Um, I think for now, if we wanted to play safe, uh, I think you take this, I think you take the ramen. Uh, for the demonstration purposes, let's say, again, you know, we kind of low rolled here and we didn't get a scoring joker, um, then what other, other kind of options do we have? Uh, is one card from a standard pack going to make the difference for us? Probably not. Uh, is the overstock voucher, is the extra option, is that worth us losing our interest? Um, and I think also they're probably not. So I'm gonna take the strength card because of the strength card, um, this can turn two pair into a four of a kind. This can turn, you know, full house into five of a kind. So maybe let's try to do that. Um, here I have a bunch of nines. So, you know, we might as well look for more nines or actually what I really want are my eights, and then I can turn eights into nines. So with four discards, let's give that a try. Uh, there's one eight. Um, I'll look for another. So there's two eights already. Yeah, that's it. You know, you could keep discarding more, but uh, 
Question, do I want to play the four of a kind or do I want to play five of a kind? Five of a kind is definitely worth more. Is four of a kind going to win it anyway? Um, I think maybe not. All right, and so what I've said before about the, you know, the secret hands, um, you don't get the planet cards until you've played the secret hand at least one time, right? And so uh, if I don't play any flush house, I won't get any flush house planet cards. If I don't play uh, flush five, I won't see any of those planet cards. And so here we've got the five of a kind unlocked. I'm going to commit to doing just five of a kind and not flush five. And then that way we sort of maintain the appropriate density of planet cards. You know, we don't want to flood it with all these different options. We just want the one specific one that we're interested in. Um, also then, you know, for uh, like the telescope voucher, you know, where you get rewarded for playing the same hand a lot of times, instead of splitting that between flush five and five of a kind, we'll just go five of a kind. Um, however, you know, we kind of got the strength card, the strength technology made it easy for us to make the five of a kind that time. But in the future with just the six nines in our deck, I don't think we'll be able to do that very consistently. So we should think about, okay, I can take these planet cards for the five of a kind, uh, for the future five of a kind that I'll make. But for now, my scoring is maybe full houses and four of a kind instead of five of a kind is a little bit safer for me. So let's think about doing that. Um, here again with the start, we've got this huge boost here, the plus $20 from the Hermit. Um, again, you know, if we take this, if we take the $20 here, then this completely negates the whole deal with doing the red stake. You know, now I don't care that I get three less dollars per ante, one less dollar per round. If I have a ton of money, I have my interest already set and ready to go. So for demonstration purposes, uh, we're not going to take the Hermit. We're just going to pick up our first scoring joker is the summit and then ask this question, you know, do I need uh, either an arcana pack or a celestial pack to help my scoring? And the answer is no, not yet. So let's go next. 1000 we can definitely do. Um, here we've got no $3 reward money. If we play one hand, we get three extra dollars from leftover hands, three hands left over. We can definitely win in one hand. Uh, as far as interest, we've got $17, so we would get $3 interest. So do I want to skip, uh, what is it? Skip $6 for this rare joker. Well, the shop has a rare joker. I still have to pay for it. And not only is it, okay, you know, $6 for this thing here, it's also all future rounds happen one round earlier. So if I click this button, what this says is all score thresholds are 50% bigger than they were before. I think with the help of a rare joker, remember the rare jokers, um, most of them give you X molt, and that's something that we're looking for. So here it's going to be worth it to take the rare joker skip. You know, rare jokers are, you know, as advertised, rare. And so, you know, it takes a lot of shop rerolls before you run into a rare joker. And so it is worth it here. And we're not missing out on that much. That does mean I am under this pressure to score 1500 points here. So what would have been before 1200 points is now 1500 points though we know just the one scoring joker the one plus 15 molt we can get 1500 no problem or you know maybe here i want ten dollars um i think we're just going to play this out you know the reward money plus the interest money that's going to make up for this uh ten dollars so what kind of hand am i looking to make we do have the extra nines, and so maybe I could try to draw my nines. Maybe a full house would be better than a flush or a straight. So full house, let's try nines and sevens. Okay, we got the nines and sevens. 
Um, and I think that already wins it. We do need to use all of our discards. So I'm gonna keep discarding. Maybe, you know, even we'll find our nines. All right, so we got nines and more sevens, but I already know that one full house is gonna do it. Um, so how do I know it's gonna work? Well, I know this full house is worth about 320 points or something like that. And so if this is plus 15 molt, that's, you know, 15 is four times this. So this is times five, my score. And so my 320 points times five is going to be enough. And I don't need to play this four of a kind here. Three hundred times five is fifteen hundred. Uh, dang, we keep getting the obelisk. Obelisk coming around. I said, uh, you know, we skipped the obelisk last time, and I said, you know, maybe we would come around on the obelisk. Um, I'll do it this time. I know we did it before the last time we played red deck, the first time we played red deck, uh, but this time we could do it. You know, we want some x molt eventually so might as well be this x molt i guess uh the way that i think about the obelisk is this is a value generating joker this is an income joker for the first antis one through five it does nothing and then it starts to you know pay off later so just like you know some kind of value generating joker it doesn't give you any scoring for the first five antis but then once you get past round 15 then it's gonna to start to pay off and it's gonna to start to take off. So we are looking to, can I score enough with my remaining four Joker slots if I'm holding on to this one? All right, uh, as far as planet cards here, do I want to take this planet X knowing I am not able to currently play five of a kind? I mean, I can, it's just not very consistent. Um, I think, you know, in the end game, that's maybe what we're going to try to aim for. Unless that's at least what we've got going so far. So I will be taking the planet X. Do I want to take this spectral pack? If I do, um, my money 16 goes to 12. I'll lose a dollar worth of interest. Is this spectral pack worth $5? Um, I think later on in the run when you just have like a ton of money um you should open the spectral packs just because there's a rare chance that you get some really good stuff um early on in a run there's also you know a rare chance that you get some really good stuff so you might as well take it no acknowledging that this costs five dollars all right what do we get here um this is not what i would normally describe as the good stuff um, we do have Ouija here. This could help us make our four of a kind. This could help us make our five of a kind. I don't normally recommend this. I said, okay, uh, plus or minus one hand size. The way you should think about that is it's kind of, uh, you know, either triples the chance or is one third the chance to get whatever hand you're looking for. So plus one hand size is triple the chance that you're gonna find the hand that you're looking for. Minus one hand size is about one third the chance that you'll get the hand that you're looking for. And so if this turns all of these cards into, let's say kings, and I have uh, four kings and I get eight more kings, that's three times as many kings, but then the minus one hand size makes it a third as likely to draw my hand, then it kind of balances itself out. So this is neutral, net neutral. Uh, here we could get random enhanced, technically speaking, um, but numbered cards, you know, whatever card that we start to strength and death and make extra copies of, this is gonna make it harder for us to find those cards. And so I think, you know, this you are interested in taking some of the time, but most of the time sort of bloating the deck with extra cards is not gonna be worth it. Um, I'm going to take Ouija here, um, acknowledging that this may cause us some challenges later. Um, one of the higher stakes, uh, is it 
gold stake or something like that. One of, you know, one of the uh, higher stakes is you have minus one hand size. So maybe we'll try that out as a challenge. Fives, what does that mean for me? Uh, that means I have 11 fives. They're kind of hard to see. Face cards, easy to pick out here. Uh, fives, a little bit harder. Um, it, by the way, you know, someone asked me in the comments this, uh, actually more than one person, if you haven't, you know, noticed by now, I've got, uh, you know, these blue clubs here, nice and bright and blue, and I've got in the spades here, I've got the purple kings. Uh, these are the high contrast cards. That's one of the options. If you go in the settings, uh, on the first page here, we've got the high contrast cards. It, you know, when you first turn it on, it makes it, it's kind of hard. If you're not used to it, it's kind of confusing. Uh, at least that was the experience that I had, but then sort of over time I got used to it and then now I love it. Now it's really easy for me to tell if I got spades and clubs, diamonds and hearts and easy to tell them apart. Also, I think it just, you know, makes the game look a little bit more alive, a little bit more vibrant. Anyway, rant aside, do I need this celestial pack? Am I going to be able to score enough without it? Well, Let's see here, all of our heart cards are debuffed. I know a full house is going to be 1500 points or at least a high-ish full house. So, you know, maybe I need to play two full houses or a four of a kind with the help of the Mystic Summit. That should work, right? If four of a kind is normally like 700 points and then so Mystic Summit is another you know, from seven molt to 22 molt, that's three times. Then 700 times three, that could get me to 2000. Maybe not four of a kind fives necessarily. I think I don't need this celestial pack. Uh, I'm gonna save my money for interest. Uh, the worst case scenario is I play four of a kind, it doesn't win, I just play a second hand. And that costs me a dollar, same as losing interest anyway. All right, here I've got three, four, threes and fours. I have extra nines and I have extra fives. So let's look for those. Nines and fives. Uh, here's some fives. Let's look for maybe more fives. And here we're already starting to feel the pain of the extra, you know, minus one hand size here. You know, let's say we had, uh, these are four fives here. With four fives, I'm able to discard only three cards. I'm able to redraw only three cards. And so, you know, with three cards times three discards, and then maybe I don't get it, and maybe I have to play some hands as garbage hands, uh, then another three hands times three cards, that's a total of 18 cards. I get to see 18 of these 40 cards compared to if I had plus one hand size, if I had an extra card, I could discard four at a time. I could redraw four at a time. Three discards plus three hands times four is 24 cards. And so instead of seeing 18 out of 40 cards, you would see 24 out of 40 cards. Uh, gives you a much higher success rate. Anyway, show me the fives. Show me maybe even five of a kind fives. There's a five. There's a five. So pause. Before we discard here, you know, I am interested in turning on my, actually, no, that's it. I need to turn on the summit. I need to discard here. You know, no questions asked. All right, now, do I play the five of a kind? That's gonna give me the score that I need or do I play four of a kind? So four of a kind in fives and with the Mystic Summit, I think that just barely doesn't win and I'm gonna need a second hand. If I want to try to make the obelisk happen, maybe the thing that I wanna do is play a bunch of four of a kinds now while I can and then later on evolve into five of a kind later in the run, in which case I play the four here instead of the five. 
Or I could do the opposite. I could start with five of a kind, which has kind of a high base. And then when I get to the later part of the run, switch to four of a kind, leveled up four of a kind, and then get the obelisk value. Maybe let's do that. Either way, either way we should thinking should be thinking about with obelisk, I want to play some hand predominantly in the beginning and some different hand later. I said I wasn't planning on going into flush five, but maybe that is the hand. Maybe that is the future hand as we play five of a kind now, flush five later. Uh, we've got here crazy joker if I wanna get rewarded for making straights. Um, that could be fine. You know, I'm not necessarily attached to this five of a kind, though, you know, with the Ouija giving us a bunch of fives and it taking away our hand size, you know, maybe now with just two eights and three of everything else, maybe it's kind of hard to make straights. So maybe I don't need this crazy joker. Maybe I'm going to stick to four of a kind, full house or five of a kind, you know, some mix of those, in which case, do I want this Cardomancer? Cardomancer is going to be um, mostly a value generating joker. It does have the extra chips, which are always nice. We have a balance here of molt from the summit and then chips from the Cardomancer. By the way, you know, here, if I have the plus 50 chips and I have the plus 15 molt, this now gives me points for high card. So high card, which is normally worth garbage. If I get the plus 50 chips, now all of a sudden it is a real hand. It is as real as, you know, three of a kind high card are gonna be worth closer to the same amount. But I will be taking this just for the fact that it is a value generator. So I lose interest here, but I'm gonna gain tarot cards in exchange. Uh, do I need any of this here for more scoring? All right, this is actually you know, maybe tough here, right? Because we said anti-3 normally is 2,800 is already a big jump from anti-2 to anti-3. And so already that is requiring us to have, you know, plus one scoring joker, plus two scoring jokers. And right now the only scoring joker I have is the summit. And, you know, maybe the cardomancer is acting as kind of half a scoring joker if I have the foil. So you know, for the purposes of where our current standing is, if I get four of a kind or full house, I know that's not going to do it. If I get my five of a kind, I know that will do it. Even without the X mult from the obelisk, I know that will do it. So we're all in on five of a kind. Is that okay? I think so. I think, you know, with the help of the Ouija, uh, Ouija fives, um, I think that's fine. A fifth of our deck being fives. And then we don't need to spend any money here. We don't need to reroll for more scoring. All right, consideration for, you know, we could pick up $14 here. That is more than the $3 that we would have gotten for the reward money here. That's, you know, interest plus hands. $14, okay, definitely $14 is bigger than the amount of money that we get. Uh, if we play the question is is the difference so let's see here you know three dollars plus two dollars so five dollars versus fourteen dollars is the difference between five dollars and fourteen dollars is that difference worth now all of the scores are 50 percent higher forever and i don't think the extra money is the extra seven dollars is worth that also if we play we get cardomancer value here this is huge. This is huge for us. We got the death card. Uh, you know, obviously we can make extra fives. It's going to be easier for us to find our five of, a five of a kind. So let's start discarding first. I've got the nines of which I have six, but I've got more fives total. So let's go ahead and throw away the nines. All right, show me those fives. Show me a big old thick stack of fives. All right, so we got the five fives. We do have the option, do I want to use the death card now? Um, I think I want to hold off on that. So, you know, maybe 
the next round I get another tarot card. I'm looking for, maybe I can make an enhanced five first and then a copy of the enhanced five. Or even if I don't, then I can save this death card as sort of like a safety net, an emergency situation. Oops, I didn't draw enough fives. Here, give me another five. So here's the five of a kind we already know is going to give us the 3,000 points. Actually, uh, almost 7,000 points. Nice. All right, so looking ahead here, that same hand, the five fives will take care of 5,000, no problem. It will almost do the 6,400, though we do have the arm is brutal, right? You folks know this, the arm will really mess you up. It's going to decrease uh, the level here. So our five of a kind is gonna go down to a level one five of a kind. And I think the level one five of a kind is not going to clear this 6,400. So we're still looking for, you know, maybe potentially some more scoring opportunities. For example, Supernova here is giving us, you know, three molt becomes plus four molt is not really what we want to be doing. You know, long term it could get there, but, uh, you know, at least for now, maybe that's not what I want to be doing. Um, however, instead the drunkard with the plus one discard you know, if we get the five of a kind, then we're good. If we don't get the five of a kind, then we're sunk. So maybe instead of having extra scoring, we'll go for extra consistency with the drunkard. Though acknowledging we've got value joker, obelisk is a value joker for later. Drunkard is a, um, you know, consistency joker here. We're still sort of hurting in the scoring department. And so now, am I feeling the pressure that I need to start to buy these Arcana packs for scoring? I think also no. I think, you know, we have another shop. We get another chance to get a scoring Joker. And then if we don't, we can ask this question of, okay, do we want to reroll after the next encounter? You know, where we would normally not reroll. Do we want to reroll now? All right, let's see here. We've got uh, looking for fives. That's it. Straight up, show me all of the fives that you've got. All right, there is already a decent number of fives. Um, I need to keep discarding in order to activate my Mystic Summit. Mystic Summit is fully online here. Let's go. I'm gonna go five of clubs. I'm gonna turn into gold. And then this gold five of clubs. Now I'm going to, I have six nines in the deck, so I'm gonna get rid of the 10. Uh, the 10, I'm gonna turn into a five here. So, you know, one thing we could do is we could keep saving the death, keep saving it for an emergency. Um, instead of saving for an emergency here, I'm going to use it because it's just going to give me money from the extra five. With the extra discard of the drunkard, now I feel comfortable I can get my five of a kind. That I'm not worried about anymore. All right, uh, now we're looking for, we're desperate for some more scoring. So for example, we could get uh, erosion is going to help us later, but does nothing now. It grows very quickly, right? If it's plus four molt for each card removed, hangman turns this into plus eight. Second hangman turns this into plus 16. Um, it's like supernova. You pick it up later when it's already big. Uh, clever joker, this plus 150 chips is huge for us. So five of a kind, 150 base. This is going to double our score. Slightly less than double, because we have 50 chips from this Cardomancer. So maybe this will take us from 7,000, now taking us to, you know, maybe 12,000. And then if we walk it back, if we remove the level up from the um, planet card, sorry, uh, you know, the boss, the arm uh, de-leveling our hand, that'll take us down to still in the 10,000 range, you know, 9,500 range. So this is perfect. This is exactly what we want here. 
and we're good. We've got the two scoring jokers. We've got the five of a kind technology. Do I need these celestial packs? I don't think I'm going to need it necessarily, though, you know, $24 here taking me down to 20. It's not going to hurt my interest unless maybe I should also think about, do I want this voucher here? That gives me the boss reroll. I think this is good. I mean, it's definitely useful, right? If you get a final boss that you can't beat, you can reroll it, that's helpful. Um, if you get a boss that debuffs all your face cards, that could be helpful. Um, I think we're not going to need it and we're just going to keep saving our money for interest. Uh, this is, you, you hate to see it. Am I ever going to be playing a straight flush with this build? Am I, you know, going to play any kind of meaningful two pair? I think the answer is no. And so I'm going to skip because in the rare, admittedly rare chance I do get the one in 22, I get a fool. My fool will copy my death card. All right, we've looking for our fives. That's it, we're looking for our fives. There's some fives. There's some more fives. I need to use all of my discards. I've done it. Mystic Summit is online. Question, do I want this glass card? I don't currently need the scoring boost. Do I want to Instead of playing five of a kind and having it de-leveled by the arm, what I can do is I can play four of a kind. And if I want to play four of a kind, maybe the thing that I need to do is use the glass card. Though if I do that, okay, four of a kind is seven. Glass card would raise this to 14. It would be plus seven with a chance of breaking. And then, you know, all of this stuff after. Um, I think that would clear you know with the help of the clever joker mystic summit plus 20 percent from the level up on the obelisk i think that would work um but i accept you know losing my level on my five of a kind i accept it's not gonna kill me it's stinky but it's not gonna kill me there we go that uh 9500 that i was talking about Okay. This is huge, right? This is, so Onyx Agate, plus eight for each club. So, you know, if you do five of those, that's plus 40 molt from the one Joker. That's huge already. Uh, we've got Moon, we can make clubs. In an emergency situation, we can make clubs. That's huge. Uh, seed money giving us more interest um, it raises the cap so right now we get five dollars at twenty five dollars saved it would raise it to ten dollars if we're able to save up to fifty dollars so we do need to save our interest um, I am interested in this but it's not going to work right now I'm very interested in the onyx agate we said you know if we go back to the blinds here that's a new one the arm for us uh anti-4 anti-4 is the hard one right anti-4 is the one that's 50 percent bigger than it used to be now this is 9,000 instead of 6,000 our we know our five of a kind will hit um what is it it will hit the 9,000 but maybe it's not going to hit the uh you know whatever it is the 13,000 for the next round so yeah let's take this scoring joker what do we want to get rid of um, I think I'm going to keep holding on to the Cardomancer for the extra uh, value generating. I think the extra discard we don't need because we haven't been using any of our extra hands. So we can always do that in an emergency situation. Um, I do want this moon. And, you know, rather than save my money for interest necessarily. No, that's it. Uh, what I uh, let's sell the justice to make room. 
with the cardomancer and i'm going to be greedy i'm going to be greedy in the sense of i'm going to try to save up to 50 dollars so that we can get the seed money online uh, acknowledging that we do have a good chance of, you know, maybe we don't score enough. Okay, we got the magician. Cool. Let's look for, it's just fives that we're looking for. There's some fives. There's some more fives. We've done it. Maybe even more fives. Okay. In the deck here, we've got, uh, what am I actually looking at here? Yeah, what flavor fives do we have? We've got three hearts, we've got three spades, we've got three diamonds, so even split. Um, how about, let's turn all of the spades into clubs. So do I need that in order to score here? No, I don't need a flush five in order to pass. Um, do I, you know, play these five of a kind and get the extra three bucks here. Maybe. Here's what I'm gonna do instead. I'm going to make the clubs and also make the lucky card. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna play the flush five. So remember the flush five, the planet card, you can't buy the planet card. You can't see the planet card until you unlock it first, unlock it each run. So here, even though I get three less dollars, It'll, even though I lose the safety net of having the extra clubs here, um, I do gain the ability to purchase the Eris Planet card earlier, even before I'm able to consistently play Flush 5. So it's worth it to unlock it, just this once. And it's gonna be worth an absurd number of points because the Onyx Agate is very powerful. 32,000, almost 33,000. I know I can certainly beat this boss. It's going to be 18,000. Uh, the next round boss, I will also be fine. All right, so now this is shop number two. And shop number two, what am I looking to do? Um, I already have enough scoring. So this 13,500. I know my base five of a kind is going to, you know, without the Onyx Agate, my base five of a kind is about uh, 9,500 with just 31 molt. And so if I want to get 13,500, I just need two clubs and then that'll do it. I can get two clubs, no problem. So I don't need, for example, I don't need the Arcana pack. I don't need the standard pack. I'm going to try to keep saving my money acknowledging how greedy that is okay there's a five let's throw away the rest of these i guess it makes the discarding decisions really easy right you just keep going until you get all the fives though maybe you know at some point there is this question of should i be discarding some fives in order to draw my other fives, my fives of clubs. Question, is this five of a kind enough? I said two clubs will work. So out of 31, plus 16 molt is plus 50%. And so plus 50% is enough to beat 13,500, he says. And then I get to an extra three bucks. Nice. Okay, we did all this work. We did it so that uh, this is we just beat the big blind so we can pick up the uh, seed money voucher. And now my interest goes up to if I have $50 saved. So do I want to keep not spending here the psychic let's see here a couple ways that i can do this um if i go four clubs that'll be enough points if i go flush five that'll be enough points maybe i want a little bit more points how can i do that well 
sell the obelisk. That's how you do it. At least short term. Short term, if I want more points, that's going to do it. Um, Cardomancer, if I replace it with some other kind of scoring joker. Instead of a value joker, I get a scoring joker. That'll do it. Maybe it's time we just have to go in on flush five. Maybe we should look for a planet card. If we get the right planet card. Well, you know, not any of this probably. Uh, I will take the flush here. I'll take the lovers in the in emergency situation if I need an extra club. Standard pack, not really what I'm looking for. You know, of the possible scoring joker replacements here, um, I think misprint is not what I need either. This, I can win with two four of a kind also. So I'm not, or the chariot, does that do it? Chariot right now is plus, if I play flush five, it's plus eight molt. Wait, no, it's not. It's a, uh, yeah, it is plus eight molt. Uh, if I play the five of a kind, it's plus six molt. Uh, okay, we got the fives and they happen to be fives of clubs. So this is very promising. Lucky card, whether it procs or not. Uh, okay, so five of a kind with four clubs. Does that do it? I think it does. So in order to keep leveling up the obelisk, in order to keep being somewhat greedy here with the obelisk, let's play five of a kind instead of flush five. And if we play five of a kind instead of flush five, this is how we're going to do it. We're going to uh, make a steel card. Steel nine. Uh, I'm not going to use the lovers because I'm going to play the regular five of a kind. I don't think four of a kind is going to get there. Let's do this. Uh, demonstrating here, demonstrating the power of the onyx agate. Because if this is, you know, the plus eight on all of my clubs before any of these other jokers, before the steel card. So the steel card is giving me an extra now, plus four, plus four, plus four, plus four. Four of a kind instead of five of a kind. Man, I'm really tempted to do it for science. But I want to keep five of a kind as my most played hand. So I'll play the five of a kind. This steel card is going to be huge. Oh my gosh. 38,000. What were we worried about? I'm tripping. All right. Uh, face cards do a thing. Face cards do a different thing. Our, that's not really what we're going for. Uh, we did get the $50 saved up here. Do we want to keep saving for interest? Um, yeah, I think we can do that. Or do I want to take these celestial packs? Um, so if I'm trying to do the obelisk thing, if I'm trying to get some obelisk action, then I don't have a lot of joker slots here, right? This is blocking a joker slot. This cardomancer is blocking a joker slot, which means I need to get score from non joker slots. I need to get score from planet cards. So instead of saving money for interest, like we already get interest, I don't need to go crazy overboard, crazy greedy with my interest. I'm gonna buy these celestial packs. Buy it while you can. Celestial packs, like I said, uh, if you get your planet cards, that's the same as getting a negative joker. Not any negative joker, like a weak negative joker, but it's the same. It ta doesn't take up a joker slot. All right, so for example, four of a kind now, if you were concerned that four of a kind maybe wasn't gonna do it, maybe now four of a kind will do it. Uh, another celestial pack here. Ooh, now I have to decide, do I want five of a kind or four of a kind? And I think with the obelisk here, I wanna keep that ability to level up my five of a kind more. So I'm gonna get to planet X here and that's it. We should have enough scoring. You know, this. The if we go in here, 
the 18,000 for anti five is the same as two times this 9,000 here. So the boss of anti four is the same as the small blind of anti five. So whatever we did before, we could do it again. Do I want this coupon tag? So, you know, $3 reward, we don't get the $3 reward, but we still get all of this other kind of value. We still get the ability to Cardomancer and Obelisk and stuff like that. So uh, coupon tag, you know, this is probably like $20 worth of value, $15 worth of value. Uh, we're gonna play instead. Uh, Chariot is huge. Now here's that question of, do I discard fives looking for fives of clubs, different fives? Do I have the freedom to do that? Do I have the need to do that? I think the answer is no, we don't need to do that. Okay, we got the fives of diamonds. There we go, we got our fives. Let's make this ace into a steel card. I don't need to, but I'm going to, just so you know, we use our tarot cards so that Cardomancer can give us different tarot cards. Um, do I want to make a wild card? I think yes, just to get rid of it. So do I want hearts or diamonds? I think it doesn't really matter super much. Do I need to play these in order to get the clubs? Or can I afford to get the $3? Um, I think we demonstrated with the previous round that uh, it is safe to do it this way. Cool. All right, now we've got uh, here's another value generating joker instead of scoring we got value plus four dollars though You know, we're in anti five now soon to be anti six. Maybe I can't afford the Econ slot uh, We could do spades We've got the one wild card. We can double dip here clubs and spades I think that's not gonna work for us. The director's cut voucher came back around um, I'm not going to buy it now, but after the big blind, after the next round, I can buy it. Uh, do I want these booster packs here? You know, for example, Arcana pack, make it easier. So the way you should think about this is Celestial packs give you more scoring. Arcana packs give you more consistency, uh, make it easier for you to find your scoring hands. Do I need that technology? I think we're good. I think we're good with the fives. Um, so we don't buy anything. Do we, since Onyx Agate is doing a lot for us, do we sell the Mystic Summit and pick up the Golden Joker to be greedy? If, you know, if I weren't playing on camera, I totally would. But, uh, you know, let's get the W. Let's play it sensible. So... Let's go into the next round here. Um, I can totally hit the 27,000. Hermit, love to see it. Give me that 20 bucks. Now, first discard looking for fives. Since I did not get my fives yet, do I throw away the steel card looking for my fives? I think we keep the steel card. Right, we haven't had any trouble so far getting our fives. So maybe we'll keep the steel card. Also this question of do we need the steel card? If we want a one shot, probably. Show me a five. Or not, understandable. So now we didn't get the fives. If we don't get the five, we die. And so, you know, now is the situation where I want to throw away the nine. Well, what I can do is, you know, maybe I can play four of a kind instead of the uh, five of a kind. I don't think that's going to score enough. I think with 
eight fives left in the deck out of 30 cards left. If I keep the nine and I just go two at a time, that's times three hands is six cards. So I have six chances to get one out of eight fives. We'll give it a try. Though if it doesn't happen soon, I will consider getting rid of the nine. One more try. If we don't get it on this one, I'm gonna throw the nine. Okay, we did get it. There was a chance that we didn't get it. And I wanna acknowledge that chance. Uh, do I need this five? Do I need the third five? I don't know, but I have a ton of money, so I'm gonna play it safe. I could calculate it. If I were playing on gold stake and I was worried about like, oh, I'm gonna lose my run, uh, then I would bust out the calculator. Um, but, you know, for the recording purposes, I don't need the three bucks. All right, and then that's, you know, we know it's just barely 30,000. You know, we know that from the last round. Okay, which means, notably, the boss, 36,000, no discards. Probably should have looked at that ahead of time, right? <laughs> well, now what are we going to do? Uh, we could... What I would like to do now... So, I'm thinking ahead, I've got... Anti six, seven, eight, that's nine rounds left after this boss. So with nine rounds left, I could switch to four of a kinds now. And you, you know, maybe a few flush fives, but mostly four of a kinds, right? Cause we've got the obelisk, we've got the obelisk action. And so, you know, here comparing four of a kind and five of a kind, the difference is 50% more chips, 50% more molt, one extra club with the onyx agate or maybe not even one extra club right if we just you know our five of a kind is in all clubs anyway and so four of a kind if we get right now it's about half as big as five of a kind but if we level up our obelisk with just you know you play three hands and then this obelisk is already at 1.6 1 1.8 1 uh i think four of a kind will work Though I am looking for some planets to help me out with the scoring. Uh, quick check here. $10. I want this. Uh, here's another $10. Takes me down to $67. I do have money to re-roll. So I'm going to re-roll first. Okay. Uh, $10 takes me down to $62. I still have more money for another reroll, or I guess I should think about saving money to reroll the boss. All right, let's go Celestial Pack. Four of a kind. Yes, that is exactly what we need. Looking for here, four of a kind or flush five. Didn't get either, so we'll take... We are very much all in right now. You know, this full house doesn't get the clever joker bonus. So that's it. All right. Uh, these are not going to help immediately. If we go into the next round here, we should consider, can I do this with no discards? You know, in the previous round, we almost didn't make it right. Like we almost didn't draw our fives. I'm going to re-roll. I think we can do, you know, maybe a little bit safer than this. Unless we debuff all clubs. All right, cards previously played are debuffed. So our fives might be debuffed, might be missing the Onyx Agate bonus. That could kill us. I'll admit it, that could kill us. Uh, let's see here. I could fire off. Here is four of a kind already sure or do i want to save the steel card all of my future four of a kinds are worth more points now i'm going to try to play 
you know, if one four of a, or if one four of a kind can get me thirty thousand points, then with the steel card, then two four of a kinds without the steel card can get me the thirty thousand points also. So let's do it. Yeah, something like that. All right, uh, debuffed clubs. So, you know, we've got the plus eight here. Oh, I forgot we don't get the Mystic Summit action. And we didn't get, you know, a lot of Onyx Agate action. So actually that was miserable. Let's Hangman just to use it. And I'm going to, you know, since they're debuffed anyway, I'm going to discard 1-5. And discard looking for more fives. Okay, so we got the more fives. Let's look for a steel card. Uh, I am going to play four of a kind instead of five of a kind because the obelisk is going to give us more points. So if I play five of a kind, I'm going to discard the five here. Or sorry, if I play four of a kind, discard the five. Uh, we didn't get there on the steel card. So I could fire off the four of a kind now, and I think it would work. Um, instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start leveling up the obelisk. And then this is going to take us into the end game. So we can level up the obelisk with high card since we've gotten away with, we haven't been playing high card up until this point. Uh, this five is debuffed. Let's play another high card. And now here's my four of a kind. Which we knew, you know, without the steel card wasn't going to be 30,000 points, wasn't going to necessarily one shot on its own. So it's good that we played the four of a kind, the first one. Still have the maxed out interest here. All right. Hanged man. That's going to help us find our fives. We don't need the extra chips here from the crafty joker. We already have 150 from the clever joker. And so, you know, if we play flush five, 300 chips, I don't need plus 80. If I play uh, four of a kind here, 270 chips, I don't need another plus 80. Uh, I could take the telescope. Maybe I don't need to decide right away. Let's take a look at the buffoon pack. Uh, the thing that I'm looking for is a replacement for the summit. The summit is not on until I use all my discards. And also it's not that big a bonus anyway. Oh yeah. All right, if you've seen the last one, you know, always bet on banana. In which case we've got the extra money that's open up the arcana pack. We have an opportunity to get a legendary joker here. I said always bet on banana. So I need to honor that. In which case between clever joker and cardomancer here in anti six, do we get rid of the scoring one or do we get rid of the value one? I think you're supposed to get rid of the Cardomancer. I think you're supposed to get rid of the value one. This is tarot cards make it easier for us to find our scoring hand, but we already can do that, right? So I don't need this. Let's sell the Clever Joker instead. We'll be fine. You know, the difference is only 150 chips difference. Uh, the soul is 100%. It's going to deliver. Uh, we're not going to end up with Yorick. Disables the boss, which I don't know what's coming. You know, for the final boss, this could be the thing. You know, there's a couple bosses that mess with your jokers. And so like, uh, you know, disables a random joker or, you know, your cards are debuffed until you sell a joker. And so this is that joker slot. I don't love this, but I don't hate it necessarily. It does raise the value of my temperance because it has a 10 cell cost. Do I want 
the temperance here? I do. Because one thing that allows me to do, at least I can, with $77 here, I can reroll once, looking to replace this Chico here. Or, actually this is what I've wanted the whole time, is to upgrade my flush five. All right, reroll one more time. Kings, not really what we're doing here. I will take the gold card because it'll pay for itself. And then that's it, two rerolls. All right, uh, minus one hand size. Ooh, that could be a stinker. You know, maybe it makes it hard for us to get our fives. Maybe we can't get our steel card or something like that. So maybe I do want this. Right now, Chico is plus one hand size. Maybe plus one hand size I'm interested in. Mega standard pack I'm not interested in. All right, uh, let's look at removing some cards with the hangman. Let's look at uh, here, 32,000. We have the leveled up obelisk now, okay. We've got the leveled up flush five, uh, four of a kind the same as before. I don't need this ace anymore. So let's just get the fives. Give me the fives. Okay, there's some fives. Give me more fives. Sure. Um, I don't need to keep discarding because I don't have the Mystic Summit anymore. But uh, if I find more fives, I might be able to steal $3 here. Maybe. Okay, well, we didn't get there on, on the fives. I can, you know, make $3 here. Do I want to play four of a kind? Is four of a kind going to be big enough? Or do I need to play, nope, five of a kind, I can't do that because of my obelisk. Do I need to level up first with the high card? I don't know if I need to, but I'm going to. In which case, probably was not supposed to make this gold yet. I should have played the pair because I only get nine high card. If I run out of high card, I'm not able to play high card later. Oh well. 3,000 for that? That's kind of, that's a lot. All right, now we definitely have it. Four of a kind. I said I definitely have it, but we almost didn't have it. I wanna go on record as saying we almost didn't have it. <laughs> okay. Uh, Telescope will give us the five of a kind. So I don't want the telescope. I just want to go in raw on the celestial pack. Maybe we will re-roll first. Maybe since we have the mo extra money, we'll re-roll again. Okay, Hermit is huge. Uh, fortune Teller, plus 14. Is this better than Onyx Agate? Is this better than Chico? I think no, which is okay. Uh, do I want to reroll one more time? Three rerolls in the same shop? That seems crazy. Since I have all my Joker slots full, I'll put that in quotations, full. Uh, let's not reroll. You know, we're relying on this obelisk for our scoring. Planet X, we're not really doing that anymore, so I'll just skip. You know, we just used a hermit, so maybe the fool will give us another hermit. You know, like here. Or I guess temperance is also $23. Or is there a way I can make more fives with the strength card? I think not. Do I want to make a stone card to go with my four of a kind? Maybe. But I think I'd rather just have the money. And with that money, I said I didn't necessarily need to re-roll, but I think I will, since I got the money. Star doesn't help me. 
none of this stuff helps me. We're gonna save the money. Even though we have the extra money, we're gonna save the money for the next shop. All right, 48,000 here, that's actually kind of tough, right? Um, so let's think about how we can get there. We can get there with a steel card. We can get there with enough clubs. We can get there by leveling up our obelisk. Let's try not to play high card in case I get into a situation where I need to play high card later. In which case, uh, let's play the pair. And keep betting on banana. All right, so here's high card. It's not a pair. I'm going to discard. Do I want to discard the five of diamonds looking for more fives of clubs? Looking for my wild five out of now I've got only 36 cards left. I think we do throw the five. All right, uh, I th you know, we didn't get a pair. I think we throw another five. Because if I go five cards times three discards and however many hands, that's more than 31 cards. So I should be able to just get through my whole deck. Or at least most of it. All right, so we got two. I don't need two steel cards, so I'm going to play the pair. Um, I have enough fives of clubs, so I'm going to play this five to get rid of it. Playing and discarding more cards so that you can see more cards is actually less risky, right? Because if you discard only two or you play only two as a form of discarding two cards, then you see less of your deck. And if you just guarantee that you see all of your deck, then you guarantee that you'll get what you want. So here, uh, high card I'm trying to avoid. Do I play the pair? The one steel card I didn't need. This steel card I probably need. If I were to guess, I would say I probably need that steel card. So we can go ahead and discard if we want or there isn't really anything that I'm looking to draw other than maybe my gold cards. So maybe acknowledging that I have the five fives left in the deck and I've got out of the 22 cards, I'm just gonna ship these fives. I'm pretty sure this will do it, you know, with the four triggers from the Onyx Agate. If it doesn't work, I still have two more discards. I can look at 15 more cards to try to get another four of a kind fives or maybe just three of a kind fives because this should be you know close to 35,000 or 47,000 I'll accept that too that's fine all right now it's time to reroll now it's banana time let's uh before I do the priestess I'm going to do the arcana pack looking for a fool Didn't get there on the Fool. Again, we don't have the strength for the fives. Uh, we do have Judgment for a green Joker. Okay, now I am gonna open the Priestess. And before I open the Celestial Pack, I'm gonna look for more planets. Roll once. Times 1.5, here's another x Molt. We got the x Molt from the Obelisk. Here's the x Molt from the Steel Joker. That I'm into. Nice. Reroll again. Sun, if I want to make hearts. No. Flush. No. Eight ball. Egg. There we got 47,000. Can I get 64,000 if I have plus 50%? The answer is yes. I'm good on scoring. I can stop here. I'm going to reroll one more time. Uh, eight plus six dollars is 14. I'm gonna dip below 50, but I got plenty of income. So let's go one more time. That's okay, we didn't get it. We can open the Celestial Pack. Do I want four of a kind is what I'm currently scoring with. Do I want flush five, which I'm going to score with in the future? 
I think the flush five is already big enough on its own, you know, with the help of the onyx agate. So I think for now, the thing that I want is the four of a kind. And let's make room for the cardomancer by selling this mercury. All right, ship it. Wheel, Get, show me foil. That's not foil. Oh well, I I will also accept polychrome, I guess. Uh, do I need this five? So I could four of a kind here without steel and then another four of a kind later with steel. Let's try it. I'm not gonna get my three bucks. Let's not try it. Show me another five. Yeah. All right, give me my three bucks. Rude. Oh, well, that gives me the opportunity. Uh, I guess now it doesn't matter what we play. So let's look for more fives. Uh, here's two pair. Two pairs should work. We haven't played any of those. We'll get the obelisk value. All right. Uh, we've got grabber gives us an extra hand. So that's an extra dollar per round or, you know, in an emergency, that'll help us draw our cards or, you know, we can grow the obelisk even higher faster. Let's crack open these Arcana packs. Uh, do I need glass cards? You know, is that what we need to score? I think we don't need this. And so I'm gonna take the safer thing, which is the wheel. Arcana again. Uh, do I need more planet cards? Or do I wanna try to go for a lucky card? Um, I think I need the planet cards more. So let's go Priestess. Uh, we just get the same ones, that's okay. Uh, this is anti seven now. I'm gonna do one reroll and then one. Hey, this, this is the same shop that I had last time, isn't it? Egg plus Sly Joker. Anyway, reroll once. Uh, we've got the idol here, it gives us queen of clubs. Idol is not gonna work for what we're trying to do with the fives. Uh, I will take the Hermit for the 20 bucks, in which case now I have money to do this. Reroll, and that's it. Then we're gonna go next. 56,000 is less than the previous boss, and so this is kind of the pattern for Antis five, six, seven, eight, is the small blind is actually less than the previous boss, so you get kind of like a soft reset. Uh, that was a misclick. I didn't mean to do that. If you didn't already know, the juggle tag, what it does is it gives you extra hand size. So what you can do with this is if you have a boss that you're concerned about beating, though, I don't know if I'm going to beat the wall. The wall seems like, you know, 20 or, 2, or 224,000 points. Then the extra hand size allows you to draw your better cards, draw your better hand, score more points potentially. So, you know, if I wanted this to beat the boss, I would take two skips here. Ah, oh, man, disabled the boss. Now I don't get to do the, we're gonna do the 200,000 anyway. We're gonna, we're gonna send a message here. Let's discard looking for fives of clubs. Uh, yeah, fives of clubs. So here is one, two, three, four. Here's a four, let's ship a pair. Forgot to make room for my Cardomancer too. Man, that misclick really messed me up. Uh, let's see here, we've got, uh, I want to keep leveling up my obelisk. Do I wanna play the high card or do I wanna avoid playing the high card? Do I wanna greed and try to get this three bucks? Let's discard. Let's discard again. I got a bunch of fives now. Discard again. 
I can ship two of these fives as a pair. No, let's just do flush five. This is definitely going to do it. With the steel card. There we go. I knew we had it the whole time. Which means we don't need this. All right. Uh, money tree gives us the extra interest when we have a hundred dollars. Uh, I'm into that though. You know, we are in anti eight, so we spent $10. It gives us an extra $10 interest for what? One round, two rounds. It technically pays for itself. Those, we're not going to get a ton of value out of that, especially if we, you know, are misclicking on the skips. Uh, standard packs here, do I want to look for more fives or do I just want to save my money for the higher interest? Since we're in anti-8, since things are, you know, wrapping up here, let's look for more steel cards. That would be neat. Uh, didn't get there on the steel card. We do have a purple seal or a 5. I think the, the ship is sailed on the basic 5s. We're just looking for 5s of clubs. I will take the... Uh, purple seal we have plenty of discards maybe we can get some extra tarot cards from that uh, on the standard pack here again sort of the same proposition do I want a basic five you know one scoring option is I have enough fives now I could play four fives and also another four fives but I think uh, the seals are what I want also it happens to be a nine you know, if I play four of a kind nine, that's always a possibility. Four of a kind aces, not really a possibility. I took that voucher and there's no way it's going to be worth it in anti-8 right now. Because what I want to do is I want to take this $83 and I want to spread out my rerolls. I want to reroll now and I want to reroll in the next shop. We have to the moon. Okay, so I saw this in the comments. Uh, common misconception, to the moon, what it says is it gives you more interest. So for every interest that you have, it gives you one more. So what this does is it doubles the interest rate. It does not increase the interest cap. And so if you're at $5 interest with $25 saved, then to the moon increases the interest rate to $2 per five, $10 per 25. So, you know, without any vouchers, this is at most five bucks per round, no matter how much money or yeah, no matter how high your money goes, this is capped at five dollars per round. However, with the voucher, you know, just with the one voucher, the seed money voucher, you know, if we go up to ten dollars, then the double rate takes us up to twenty dollars. Money tree takes us up to $20 and then the double rate takes us to $40 for the to the moon. If you like the big number. And you know, I like the big number. I do want to reroll, but now it's too, it's too tempting. It's, yeah, I've I've been tempted. Uh do I want to take the skip here? The skip for another voucher? You know what kind of vouchers can we get? Uh, we could get an extra hand, we could get extra discard, we could get extra discount, we could get the vouchers that maybe, what is it, uh, you know, add extra tarot cards or extra celestial or extra planet cards. We should actually look, we should look at the vouchers here. Uh, Reroll cost, clearance sale, overstock. There are good vouchers but there aren't any sorry i apologize let me uh let me it's, it's bothering me there we go there we go um there aren't any game changing vouchers necessarily or there's a few but they're you know rare amongst all of the vouchers that are available so let's not misclick and let's go play i want to get my to the moon value so let's look for Give me flush five. That's the move. I forgot again. I forgot, you know, these are, I should just get rid of it right now. Uh, I didn't get it in my cardomancer. 
I haven't gotten the Carbomancer for a ton of rounds now. I keep forgetting. That's that's the thing, you know, when you're recording and you're kind of you're deep into the commentary and thinking about what's going on, then you know you forget obvious stuff like that. Uh, out of 27 cards here, what I'm looking for is four fives of clubs. Is the four of a kind fives going to be good as a backup? Will that also work? Let's find out. Um, quick eyeball here with the help of the obelisk already being at times four. I think the four of a kind with the help of the steel card is fine. So let's just find the four of a kind. Flush five if we can get it, but if we don't get it, you know, I'm not going to be too mad at it either. Uh, do I want to play? I said I'm only allowed to go up to nine high cards. Do I want to use a high card here? Looking for more fives? Or do I want to play it safe here? So the thing about the obelisk now you know, as it's going up, you could try to maximize playing all of the hands that we can this round and the next round. I could go for two pairs and I could go for three of a kinds and I could, you know, try to max out as many four of a kinds as I can. Uh, but you do get kind of like diminishing returns is what I say, right? Like the difference between this being 4.4 versus it being 4.8 is, uh, you know, only 10% difference. So maybe I don't need to go too crazy with that. Let's play these fives. And if this doesn't work, I will throw away a three. Nice. Nice. All right. We're flush with cash. Hermit. Uh, flower pot's not going to happen. I mean, technically it could, you know, the four of a kind, you could do a flower pot action. Uh, actually, I don't have any fives of spades at all. Let's go before Arcana pack. Let's go standard pack first. Fives, not of clubs. Let's re-roll before opening the Arcana pack. Magician. I don't think I need that. Emperor, I'm curious. Let's check it out. Hermit is acceptable. We'll hold this one. I only have two shops. I have this shop and the next shop, right? So we can afford to spend a little extra, spend more than we normally would. Um, do I want the flash card? I am acknowledging that I'm going to do my re-rolling now. And so maybe this will be plus 20 or plus uh, 30. Um, I think with all the re-rolling, I think we'll end up with something better. So we'll just keep going. Uh, $4 from Satellite. Emperor again. Uh, let's take the Emperor. Okay, Empress, Judgment. Another re-roll here. Saturn. Let's go before... Hmm. I'm going to keep going. One more. $10 is expensive. This is the last one. All right. Magician, Empress, Judgment, no duplicates. Show me in the Arcana pack five different ones. This cer certainly works. I finally had the opportunity I could turn a four into a five, or I could just pick up 20 bucks here. Let's take the 20. Let's sell the judgment to make room for the cardomancer. Rerolls are expensive, so let's go next. All right. There's a pair. There's actually two pair. I'll play it while you got it because of the obelisk. We've got, ooh, we've got the purple ones. So let's discard. Before I do that, let's use the Empress, use the Priestess, use the Flush Five. 
All right, we're cooking. We've got the sun. Let's get rid of the planet card. The pair, I'm going to play it while I got it. The ace, I'm going to discard and actually I'm going to get rid of this five too. I want the clubs or a steel card and a steel card. Show me. Okay, I could get a glass card. I'm going to save this for the boss. You know, if I am in a situation where maybe the boss is on gold stake 300,000 or something like that, um, then I should save the glass. So maybe let's discard these. There, I've got the fives. I don't yet have the steel. So let's look for the steel. I stopped paying attention. I stopped keeping track of whether or not I need the steel. You know, whether or not the four of a kind just works. So here's the situation where I said, later on, later on we're gonna get into a spot where maybe we're forced to play high card. And so we shouldn't be playing high card earlier out of consideration for the obelisk. And here we've done it. So we're able to play high card here because we purposefully avoided it before. Here's one more high card, gives us one more high card left for the boss if we need it. And then now we've got, uh, here are the fives. And again, I'm not entirely sure if this is going to work. So let's make it glass and then now we're 100% sure that it will work. Uh, if I was paying more attention to the last couple rounds, um, you know, you would just know how big this is. All right, without the glass card, you know, half of that we wouldn't have made it. So good thing we did. And since we were lucky to get the Hermit, from the Cardomancer, we got the maxed out $40 interest. All right, it's cash out time, baby. Standard pack, five of clubs. Mm, different flavor five, I don't think I need that. Spectral pack, deja vu re-trigger or aces. Let's put the re-trigger on, we've got a five here. Uh, the plus four molt on its own is not super crazy, um, but we do have the onyx agate and Let's spend all of our money. How do we spend our, all our money? What does it look like? It looks like this Disables the boss ability the boss requires us to sell a joker So, you know, this comes out to a wash Kings no take the planet card for the block Let's take another planet card for the block. Looking for X Molt on four of a kind. Yeah, so I don't need to the moon anymore. Um, I want to keep rerolling to spend all the money. Plus 20 for four of a kind. I no longer need this because I'm gonna have my glass card, I'm gonna have my steel card, all of that's gonna happen first before this. So this is going to be small. You know, I certainly don't wanna get rid of my onyx agate. Uh, wheel, if you want it. Hanged man, I don't need, though the moon is great if I wanna to try to make my flush five. All right, uh, $16 left. That's going to do it. The the Mad Joker giving us the plus 20 malt would be worth more than this Cardomancer, I believe. Which is fine, because we don't need it. And we're going to sell something to the boss anyway. All right, so let's get rid of the Cardomancer. And then now we've got times five here, times 1.5 here is not super big. We've got times four here, uh, we've done it. So are we gonna do the thing where we sell all the jokers and then throw at the last second? No, 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 we're not gonna do that every time. Let's go emperor for the chariot is huge. So let's 
I'm going to put the chariot on this five. Right, because that's going to be a card, like I said, put it on a card you never want to discard. I never want to discard this five. All right, we got the wheel. Let's discard looking for more fives. Okay. So we got the fives. We got the flush five. We got the flush five with one steel and one glass. Uh, I guess there's technically one more steel card. I guess there's technically I could play high card one more time. All right, let's, we didn't even need the moon. So here's one, two, let's put all of these and then the glass on the end. So times two last. All right, two and a half million points, just barely able to get us the win. Uh, we will be moving on next time to uh, higher stakes. Not necessarily the next one, but maybe the next two or three, uh, you know, sort of explaining how each one works, but then maybe skipping it. Anyway, uh, I'll catch you all in the next one.